Hello everyone, I am ZQCR88, you can call me Zach, welcome to my channel. I'm here to prove to you that baptismal regeneration is not a Christian doctrine by a long shot. Now, if I can prove to you that baptismal regeneration, which is the doctrine that says that baptism is absolutely necessary for salvation, I'm here to prove to you that that will not do anything but lead one to the enemy. I'm not necessarily saying that if you believe in baptismal regeneration that you will, you will go to hell when you die. What I'm saying is that this will not help. Please keep in mind that I am not discouraging anyone from getting baptized. By all means, please get baptized. I just want you to realize what baptism is all about and what it's not. Baptism is a beautiful thing. It's beautiful only when it's applied properly and not thought of as being a works righteous deal where you earn your salvation, which you cannot earn your salvation at all. And if you honestly believe that one cannot enter the kingdom of God unless they are dunked in water first, then you have a works righteous gospel. You don't believe Jesus is sufficient enough to guarantee salvation. It's like spitting in his face and saying, you know, I can do it on my own, thanks. You know, how dare you stand up in front of God and say, even though I've been justified by faith, I still haven't been dunked in water yet. I didn't follow your commandments of getting dunked in water. Therefore, I can't, I'm can't. i not worthy of getting to heaven. Did you know being honest is a command too? If you're, Have you ever been dishonest? Have you ever told a lie? Have you ever stolen something? That makes you a liar and a thief. Already, you deserve to go to hell. You've already messed up. Assuming that you believe the Bible to be the inerrant word of God, if it is true that one will go to hell unless they get baptized before they die, then wouldn't it also be true that if you die breaking any of the commandments, you will also go to hell? If you say yes, then you're in trouble, aren't you? If you say no, and which would be the correct answer, because Jesus obviously paid for our sins. Now, if, you're, if you still suggest that baptism is absolutely necessary, no, no exceptions whatsoever, then what you're saying is that baptism is a better, more important command than any of the other commands. And where are you getting that? Show me in scripture.